And thanks for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Kevin Musso is tracking the sizzling temperatures, and he will join us in just a couple of minutes. But first, an investigation continues into the loss of a Colinga Police Department canine. Nitro was a highly skilled in narcotics detection. He died Monday, and tonight there are questions about what role the dangerous heat played and if enough is being done to protect these animals. Action News South Valley reporter Cassandra Gutierrez joins us live from the department with the latest. Cassandra. Well, Warren and Graciela, we sat down with the police chief today who says the investigation is still ongoing. So because of that, there's very little that he can share. However, we did learn that there's an outside agency assisting them in this investigation. And as they work to find out what caused Nitro's death, they're also working to honor him. Nitro, hop, hop, yes, good boy, good hop, find it. It's a tragedy losing a... a, a I would say a team player because uh, K-9 uh, Nitro was that. He was part of the family, part of the team. Uh, so it is a big loss. Nitro was half German Shepherd and half Belgian Melanois. He was found lethargic and in his outdoor kennel early Monday morning. His handler tried cooling him down, then rushed him to the emergency vet where he died. Police are waiting for the necropsy to determine the official cause of death. The response to this story from our Action News viewers was overwhelming. So many of you took to our social media posts to ask how long the dog had been left outside amid our dangerous heat wave and how he could keep cool in his outdoor kennel. We took the question to the chief and got this answer. And so I can't talk as to the kennel, the time, the place, but I want to assure the community that we are uh, doing the investigation and, and, and waiting for the reports. Department policy says canines are to be kept outdoors but can be brought inside to socialize. A law enforcement expert says the departments trust handlers to do what's best for their partner. Canine officers are charged with basically maintaining their health, meaning they must have a run for the dog, a place for the dog to shelter in place, something cool. A report on the death will likely take weeks to prepare. The International Police Canine Association says that's normal. What I would ask the community is please be patient. Wait for the test results to come back. Let the department do their investigation. They will get to the bottom of it and figure it out. However, the chief says there could be consequences. If the investigation determines wrongdoing or negligence, could the handler face punishment? Yes. There should be updates to their canine policies and procedures. They will do that. In the coming weeks, Nitro will be honored, and when that happens, the community is invited to come. Live in Kalinga, I'm Cassandra Gutierrez, ABC 30 Action News.